Welcome back everyone. I'm Dr. Rupa. I'm an ophthalmologist and today I'm going to be talking about whether or not it's safe to shower in your contact lenses. So if that interests you, stick around. Before we get started, I'm just gonna ask if you please subscribe to my channel and like this video, comment below so I know what you all are looking for. A couple days ago, a news article went viral online about a guy in the UK who developed a horrible blinding eye infection from wearing his contact lenses in the shower. Now, so many people have reached out to me to ask me if that's safe or not everybody does it so what are they supposed to do when they need to take a shower and put their contact lenses on as an eye doctor my recommendation is going to be to not wear your contact lenses when you are doing those kinds of activities as well not when you're swimming or washing your face or hot tubbing or any of that but of course people do so what can we do to minimize your risk so first what happened to this guy he was wearing monthly contact lenses. Those are contact lenses that you put in, you throw away at the end of the month, but you remove them every single day, clean them in contact lens solution, mechanically rub them to get all the bacteria and the debris off and take them off every single night. Now he was wearing his contact lenses and took a shower, like most of us do, and then developed a very blinding, horrible corneal infection with a parasite called acanthamoeba. Now, acanthamoeba is the absolute worst kind of infection you can get on your cornea. It's really difficult to treat. It is a parasite that lives in tap water, so that's the connection with the shower. And he said that he was unaware that he wasn't supposed to shower in his contact lenses and that there was nothing written on the contact lens box regarding showering and safety with tap water. In America, the FDA and the CDC have both issued warnings and statements that say you are not supposed to do any water-related activities with soft contact lenses or hard contact lenses on. That includes showering, washing your face, swimming, hot tubbing, jacuzzi all of that. What happens is when you are putting a contact lens on your eye, that manual insertion and removal causes tiny little micro abrasions on the cornea, which is the clear surface that coats the front of your eye. Once you have those little cuts, that is the prime area for bacteria and parasites to penetrate and just go crazy and cause an infection. That infection is an ulcer. And that ulcer in this poor gentleman's case was with acanthamoeba because it was with showering. Now, can we really pin the shower down? Not necessarily. It's certainly possible that he was washing his face or he went swimming or perhaps he was removing his contact lenses and didn't dry his hands off well. There's a lot of different ways that his contact lens could have been exposed to tap water. Why is it so dangerous for the tap water to get on your contact lenses? Acanthamoeba used to be an extremely rare parasite. It just was never around for infections. Once soft contact lenses came out, then the rate of infection jumped 50 fold with acanthamoeba. It's pretty much exclusively in contact lens wears. 90% of acanthamoeba infections are in patients that wear contact lenses. So if you don't wear contact lenses, your risk of developing an acanthamoeba infection is not that high. So don't be scared of that. What does it look like if you have an infection with acanthamoeba? you have an inordinate amount of pain. That is the hallmark of it, is pain, pain, pain. And your eye doesn't look all that red necessarily, but a lot of pain. Redness, tearing, blurry vision can come late. And this is the thing, it's a super hard diagnosis to make. And that often leads to a delay in diagnosis where the parasite is just multiplying and invading and burrowing into your cornea, causing havoc. This parasite lives in two different forms. It lives in a cyst form and then in the parasite form. And that's what makes it so difficult to treat. You have to be on drops sometimes for months. And the type of drops that we use are actually kind of pool cleaner. That's basically what we put in drop form to treat an infection with acanthamoeba. So what can you do to minimize your risk? Because you probably shower in your contact lenses, you probably wash your face in your contact lenses, and I'm pretty sure the Olympic water polo and diving teams wear contact lenses. 
First, one thing to reduce your risk is if you are swimming or doing anything in a pool kind of setting is to wear goggles. That's gonna decrease your risk substantially. Second thing is to properly clean your contact lenses. Don't just take your contact lenses and throw them in solution and in your case. I know you're tired at the end of the night, but there's a reason that we tell you to take them out, rub them around, clean them with the solution, and then put them in the case with fresh solution. That mechanical debridement actually removes the bacteria and the parasites from the surface of the contact lenses. This parasite, acanthamoeba, loves the material that contact lenses are made out of. When you expose it in a petri dish to contact lens material, it takes less than 10 seconds for that parasite to adhere to the surface of the contact lens. So you are being exposed constantly to bacteria and to parasites. So you wanna get it off of your contact lenses. And the only way to do it, if you're wearing an extended wear lens, a two week or a monthly lens, is to really properly clean it the way that you've been instructed to do so. The other thing that you can do is switch to daily contact lenses. Daily contact lenses do have a decreased risk of keratitis or infection. Also, don't overextend your contact lens wear. By that, I mean if you have a two-week lens, throw it away at the end of two weeks. If you have a monthly lens, throw it away at the end of a month. Don't extend it to two months. There's a reason that that's the that's what's recommended for contact lenses because the oxygen transmission of those lenses is not as good past their point of expiration. And it might not be expired according to the box, but if you've been wearing it for two weeks, you're supposed to throw it away. That's a setup for infection. So that's something that you can do to minimize your risk of having one of these potentially blinding infections. Also, decrease the time that you're wearing your contact lenses. Don't wear it for longer than 12 hours. Switch into your glasses. That's gonna make a tremendous difference as well to saving the health of your eye. Last, don't sleep in your contact lenses. It kind of goes with over wearing your contact lenses, but by sleeping in them, you're decreasing the oxygen transmission to the surface of your eye. And be wary of buying your contact lenses online from sources that seem a little shady. Use a reputable source and make sure it's a brand that's trustworthy. There's a reason that your eye doctor recommends always going with the newest iteration of contact lens. It's not so we can make money. It's because honestly, those are the healthiest for your eyes. Each iteration of contact lens typically is made out of material that transmits oxygen to the surface of your eye better. And oxygen is good. Oxygen is good for the health of your eye and bacteria and parasites hate oxygen. So the less oxygen you have on the front surface of your eye, then the higher risk of developing an infection. So be really, really wary about buying contact lenses for $20 a year online. That's a little suspect for a number of reasons and predisposing you to infection is one of them. So those are my tips for how to decrease your risk of infection. It's pretty awful. In this guy's case, he ended up with a huge corneal scar on the front surface of his eye from the infection and is going to probably need a corneal transplant. That's what happens in these cases to make it clear with a donor cornea. And there's all different kinds of corneal transplants that can be done. But if we can prevent this from happening by just taking a little bit better care of your contact lenses and of your eyes, that would be great. If we can get you with the healthy habits of taking care of your contact lenses, then these kinds of infections are gonna be much less likely. In the US, contact lenses are considered FDA approved medical devices. That's why you need a prescription for them every single year. And that's also why your eye doctor wants to check you every single year. We wanna check the fit of your contact lens. We wanna make sure it's moving well, that it's not stuck to your eye. There's a lot of things that can change and we wanna be able to tell you if we see signs of contact lens overwear, we wanna tell you sooner rather than later. Anyway, thanks so much for watching you guys. I hope this was helpful and I hope that gives you some tips of what to do to decrease your risk of wearing contact lenses while you're showering because I know that happens. I live in Hawaii. Everybody is wearing their contact lenses when they're swimming and surfing and, and doing all of their water sport activities. But let's just be as safe as possible to prevent this from occurring. Thanks so much for watching you guys. Please like this video and subscribe to the channel and I appreciate it. Mahalo.